other way. How do you change the camera? Oh my god. Assalamu alaikum everyone and Ramadan Mubarak. Today is the first day of Ramadan um, and it's hopefully the first vlog of Ramadan as well because I'm trying to do this every single day inshallah I'll be able to do it so we can all like catch up. I'm starting the vlog off quite late because it's been a really unproductive day on my part. I woke up really really late um, but now we are preparing for iftar so I'll just do like a music montage so here we go. <laughs> So we're done with iftar now and we are so full alhamdulillah it's been such an interesting year um i've had like more than a, a month off of mid school at this point now um everyone's just been on lockdown like the entire world is on lockdown um and now i think it seems as though like um the whole of ramadan is going to be under lockdown as well so this is the first and it's just been such an interesting year i hope all of you guys are safe at the moment and i hope that none of your loved ones are affected um i pray that everyone is staying safe and indoors and healthy i know that um social distancing is a privilege we normally do live in the philippines so we definitely know that social distancing is a, a privilege not everyone is able to do it um and even with like breaking quarantine rules and stuff like that sometimes people can't like afford to you know stock up for the week so that they don't have to go to the grocery every single day that's just not possible for a lot of people so yes definitely keep that in mind especially when we're you know judging when we see um people out and about or when we see posts of people in the grocery and stuff like that i feel like it's just very easy to judge um without like properly considering all the factors so yeah we definitely should be more conscious when it comes to things like that but yeah, i just hope that everyone is staying safe um we are so happy and so fortunate to be back here in melbourne though like i haven't been here i think in two years um so it's such a nice like feeling to be back home here and of course with family and it's a place that we know a lot better um and you know especially during this time because it is ramadan it's really really nice to be with family and to be with other muslims um that's the issue with us in um, the philippines we don't really know um, any other muslims and it's a catholic country so it's you don't feel the um the festive season of um ramadan so yeah it's just it's really nice to be back here and to have our, like our old routine uh, what we usually do during ramadan um back when we were you know living here and all of that it's been really touching actually because we, we struggle a lot in the philippines um especially during ramadan it just reminds me of like my early days in the religion when i was kind of like hiding that i was fasting and stuff like that and it wasn't wasn't a fun time to fast on your own you can ask any convert they'd say the same thing <laughs> so yeah we're just very fortunate that we're back here anyways enough of the seriousness i'm gonna go downstairs and make my husband dalgona coffee because he loves that kind of stuff um and it wouldn't be quarantine um ramadan without dalgona <laughs> So here's the ultimate test, the does the husband approve test. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah, it's good. You're so <laughs> weird. What the hell was that? I have no idea whether that was like a heart attack or something else, but I guess he liked it. All right, so I'm soaking wet. <laughs> I just finished doing a video for Instagram. I really hope you guys like this video because there's a lot of effort that went into that. 
I do really appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing on my Instagram posts. I know the content is like different and it's a lot more silly and like carefree and stuff like that, but it is something that's quite refreshing because I don't know, it's just everything is so serious right now and I've been so hesitant to pretty much show this side of myself because I use this platform um, to like talk about like my journey um, in converting to Islam and like all the changes that's you know I've gone through in life pretty much um, because this started off like this YouTube channel started off like as like a beauty channel and then um, it turned into me talking about my journey and then I started putting the hijab on and then I got engaged I got married and you know I was in post uh, po yeah post grad and then um, now I'm in like med school and it's just We've been through a lot people we have been through a lot and there's this weird like pressure of like um feeling like i need to always be serious in order to be like taken seriously but in truth like we're people you know like we're, we're multi-dimensional we're not just like a robot and there's a time and place of course if i'm talking about something serious i'm not gonna like throw jokes around like everyone ramadan mubarak it's day two of ramadan and we're just out for a walk at the moment it was really pretty unproductive yesterday we pretty much just chilled and ate um but today <laughs> bruh I had <laughs> okay <laughs> you had work i was meant to work as well <laughs> but i didn't <laughs> fine it was unproductive for me um today i am gonna try and be more productive especially in regards to like fitness and everything so yeah we are out for a walk right now it is a beautiful day um and i thought i would like show you around the neighborhood seeing that it's just a block of <laughs> these are all cockatiels <laughs> we're in bloody in australia should we be walking through this i know this is so weird look how weird this is we're like in suburbia and it's like a flock of cockatiels just flying around convinced Tanzim to go to them but he's scared Oh yeah, don't be scared, man! <laughs> guys so we survived the birds um, we came home I just did my makeup just a little bit uh, just so I look more presentable on camera um, but it is 4 30 around 4 30 right now so I'm just gonna go downstairs and help out with iftar <music> It is day three of Ramadan and we're out on our normal walk in the morning. It's actually like almost 4 p.m. now. We woke up really late or we got out of bed really late. <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of cloudy and a little cold, but we're out here. Plans for today are pretty much like every other day. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, I was telling Tanzim just now that I'm a little concerned that my vlogs are like boring, but it's everyday life. Honestly, we're all in quarantine, so it's not like we're all like, you know, skydiving somewhere or something. Um, but today we are, of course, going to prepare for iftar and have our food together. And then um, we're gonna have to clean the house. We do this weekly cleaning. We clean every day, but like the big, big clean we do every week. We do it all together. And then I think we're going to Pancake Parlor at night. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. All right, so we are preparing iftar now. I'll show you guys what Amani made. These are just kebab rolls over here. Um, we're just gonna put them in the oven for a bit um, just to heat them up. And this is called bora, right Amani? Yes. Bora. It's made from lentils. Uh, what is it? I think the yellow one, the small yellow. The yellow, small yellow one. Dal. Yeah, dal. Okay, so we're currently all in a food coma including husband but he is you know doing his gaming over there 
It is cleaning time. Wow. <laughs> what? Show them your dance moves. No shy. <laughs> okay, all our chores are done now. I have a bit of an outfit change because I wanted to film a TikTok. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what to um, post, but I do need to post soon because I usually post around like 9 to 9.30. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Okay, I did my TikTok and now I'm just here. I'm gonna try and um, edit my videos now because like I have filmed um, day one, two, and Three. Today is the third day of um, Ramadan, but I haven't posted a single one of them and I haven't even posted um, the trip that we did in Bangladesh. This is gonna be like my last Bangladesh vlog because I'm just so late, you guys. I'm so sorry. I've just been so busy with med school, um, but obviously since the quarantine came around, um, we've had a lot more time. Um, but yeah, I still managed to you know, be really, really late about it. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to get um, that edited. Um, it's our vlog um, to select. And then maybe I'm just gonna compile um, a couple of the Ramadan videos because it's kind of weird to upload like five videos in one day. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today is day four of Ramadan. It's actually my first day of fasting today. Um, so it was a little hard to get up. Um, Alhamdulillah, I was able to get up like maybe 20 minutes before uh, Fajr ended. Because I told my husband, because my phone was like dying last night. So I was charging it and then he was still awake and I was like, hey, can you like set my alarm or at least give me my phone before um, you go to sleep, like wake me up and so I could set my phone because the charger's like on his side and he, I guess he forgot to do it. So here we are. Right now I'm trying to get myself organized. I have a lot of um, work to do today. I have a lot of assignments. Um, my med school is still going on for those who are asking. Um, yeah, my med school is still going on. They are struggling with online learning because um, I do go to med school in the Philippines and they are not as advanced as obviously the schools here in Australia or the one um, like in uh, New Zealand. So they're really struggling, but I think we're getting there. Um, they finally managed to set everyone up on Canvas now. Um, so yeah, we do have due dates and stuff like that now, like two months after. <laughs> So for my mid school, um, we finally got on Canvas and online learning um, like around maybe like the 15th of April or something. It's the 20, the 27th right now, right there, 27th right there. Um, and yeah, we just got on it um, like late this month as well. Um, but it's, it's really funny. So everything's on here now uh, or majority of things are on here now. But when we submit, we have to do like literal pen and paper. We have to write up like all of this, all this, and then take a photo of it and then submit it online. Like, I, I don't know why, but that's how they prefer it. All right, so I've decided to start baking. Um, I found this recipe and I really want to try it. Um, I already have the milk and the butter um, all warmed up over here. And I don't know, I just want to try this recipe out and see where it takes us. When you're like cooking or baking during Ramadan, the hardest thing is honestly like when you get food like in your um, on your hand and your like instinct is to like put it in your mouth straight away and you're like, oh wait, no, I'm fasting, I can't do that. So this is what the batter is looking like right now and it smells absolutely amazing. I could smell the vanilla all throughout. I'm so excited for this, you guys. If the recipe's good, of course, you know I'm gonna share the recipe with you guys, don't worry. Okay, so moment of truth. And it's done. There's nothing there. It looks really good as well. Hopefully it tastes nice as well. It's gonna leave it here to rest and we're gonna get started on iftar. Okay, so for today's iftar, we're gonna have nachos. So we're gonna start with... I have a whole onion and garlic here. So I'm just gonna saute this a bit until everything is golden brown. You can use any pan, by the way, any sauce pan. I'm just using a wok because I'm Asian, so just can't help it. <laughs> I have 500 grams of beef mince over here as well. So I'm just gonna put that in and cook the beef in like so. 
I'm using this today, but if you don't have it, it's just your basic um, Mexican spices. So you just need your paprika, your cumin, your um, a bit of coriander, garlic powder, salt, sugar, um, and that should be that. So when the mince is like this, um, you just take your red kidney beans. You don't need anything fancy. Mine's just from the generic Kohl's brand, and you're just going to add that on. And then I'm going to take half, I think, of um, crushed tomatoes, Italian tomatoes. Usually I take tomato sauce, but they didn't have anything anymore because, you know, COVID. So I'm going to make do with this. I think it is thick enough. Um, if it ends up not being thick enough, what I usually do is I put a bit of um, water and cornstarch and then just put it um, everywhere. Uh, but let's see. Fusion. <laughs> Alright, so this is how the chili con carne turned out. I'm just gonna make the cheese sauce now. Do you like the food? I did. Where, where's the camera? <laughs> how do you not know where the camera is? <laughs> All right, it's almost 9 p.m. right now, and I feel like everyone just woke up. Like, we all went to sleep for God knows what reason. And we're just snacking now. I have my Dolgona. Drinking that. I'm having a piece of the cake that I made, and it's good, you guys. I'm gonna share the recipe with you guys. Don't worry. I'll leave it in the description box down below. I have so many vlogs to edit, so I think I'm just gonna do that. Enjoy one. your coffee. You too. You too. You too. you guys so i just finished doing my videos and then um we had a bit of um dinner at like 12 a.m it's like 1 a.m right now um and we watched uh the movie on this movie on netflix it's called extraction it has chris hemsworth in it i actually really like it it was a very well um put together film i thought it was going to be like a mindless action movie but it actually has like a good plot in it and everything and there's like really really good action um action scenes in the movie so if you're like keen to watch something like that like an action-packed uh, movie i highly suggest that one but yeah i think we're just gonna call it a night thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog bye bye